6 Lima Golf. W6LG calling CQ. Hello, CQ calling CQ. Beaming east from Northern California. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. W6LG listening. Hello, Echo 2, Whiskey Victor, Echo 9, X-ray, X-ray. Uh, okay, uh, Victor, Echo 9, uh, X-ray, X-ray, W6LG. Uh, good evening. My name is Jim. I'm in California. You're 5 by 9 over. Hi, Jim. You have a great signal up here. You're 5 9 plus. My name is Don, and I'm located uh, in a little place called Dunlop uh, in the northeastern part of the province. I'm right on the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, just wanted to pop in and say hello. You have a lovely signal. You're very loud here. And uh, your K3 sounds super. W6LG, this is VE9XX. Okay, turned an antenna towards you. You're 40 over now, so uh, you're getting out well. You know, my guess is that it's about two hops from my place to yours, and we probably are just right with respect to where the sun is. Anyway, yeah, you're you're plenty strong. Uh, Don, give me again. What, what are you running there for an antenna? Uh, just a, an old uh, KT34 at about 80 feet. Okay. Is it the XA? No, just the KT34. Okay. I helped a neighbor put one of those together once, and I said I would never do it again. Boy, there are a lot of parts and pieces to that antenna. Over. Well, you know, I, I picked this one up from, uh, somebody gave it to me, and uh, I, I w- had put up a new tower, and I was going to stick something. I moved to a new location, and uh, I built my shack, and I hadn't, uh, and I put up a tower with the intention of putting up my VHF and HF antennas and so on, and uh, and it, it sat there for a year with a G5 RV on top of it, I'm, I'm embarrassed to say, and then finally I got around to uh, putting together some K1FOs to go up for two meters, and uh my six meter antenna, and I said, "Well, what the heck? I must put a, uh, I must put an HF antenna up there." And and digging through my garage, I didn't have one. And someone said, "Oh, here's an old KT34A." I took it and I cleaned it up, and put a new ballon on it and put it up. And uh, I, it, it it performs so well. I'm I'm tempted to uh, leave it up there. Um, I was going to put up something else, but I I might take it down. And M squared has an upgrade kit for it, so I, I might do that with it and put it back up. It's it's old, it's kind of ugly, and I agree with you. It's not particularly well built. I mean, it's it survived a long time, but there's too many rivets and and things of that nature in it that uh, that get loose over time. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of rivets. Um, sheet metal screws, stainless steel stainless steel sheet metal screws are fine. Rivets, not so much. No, it isn't pretty, and it it didn't have a lot of front to back, but it's sure seemed to have a lot of gain when, uh, when we got it up in the air for the lo- local guy, and he sure uh, enjoyed using it. Um, how much power are you running, and what's what's the transceiver? Uh, right now, I'm running, uh, I, I've actually got a K3 here. I'm not on it right now. I usually use it just for CW, but uh, I'm on an FT2000D and uh, running a uh, an Alpha 9500 out about the legal limit. Okay. Yeah, that's all first-class stuff. The 2000 is a great transceiver. I just sold one of those off to uh, a friend of mine, and uh, he's really happy to have it. 